Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And today we are reviewing the new Transformers Red Soundwave. Soundwave is my favorite Transformer, and so I was really, really excited that I got my hands on the new Red figure. We have a full review of the Soundwave Red figure on toy-wizards.com. I will link it in the description. It was written by Jonathan Meisner, one of our contributing magicians. He ultimately said that it was okay. So I'm excited to get my, you know, I'm excited to open this up and give it a feel for myself. There are many, many, many Earthrise sound waves, different um, sound waves available. Some of them don't appeal to me because I really don't like that shattered chest battle damage sound wave that's really, really popular right now. And I also don't like the studio series. So I, <laughs> with those twisted bits of metal that are supposed to represent some of the iconic Transformers, uh, they don't work for me. I'm definitely not a strictly G1 person. Let me say that as well. I am totally fine with G2. I think some of the 90s iterations of the Transformers are awesome. I love that like radical aesthetic. You guys know what I mean, but it's very 90s. Like everything has slanted font and it looks like it's on fire and it's neon and fluorescent. Like I'm down for the 90s. Some of the newer sound waves don't all work for me. And then of course like studio series, it's like that's a very specific taste. Let me show you guys. Here's the front of the box, the back of the box. And it's sort of no surprise that Hasbro decided to do this, that they decided to go this route with Transformers, since they have the Power Rangers Lightning, Marvel Legends, Ghostbusters Plasma, G.I. Joe Classified, like of course they're gonna build Transformers on that same engine. And this proves that they can do robots in this six inch scale. Megazords please, <laughs> waiting on that. I cannot wait to pose Transformers Red Soundwave next to Power Rangers Lightning Collection Astro Megazord. Mmm. <laughs> Goals. So for those Transformers purists who think that, or feel, and I'm not denigrating, it's, it's, your, it's your preference, it's your style. If you can't have a robot, like the, just the articulated robot, if you're not happy with just the articulated robot, and you need it to transform into said item, like you can't have a jet fire unless it turns into a plane, or you can't have a sound wave unless he goes full boombox, then, you know, this isn't the line for you. But again, we have other, the originals, the reissues, all sorts of transforming versions of these toys. So I'm excited to look at this one. Before I open it, I do also have my G1 reissue sound wave right here with his stickers falling off. Mm -hmm. And this, do you remember these from a couple years back? Just vinyl, <laughs> staunch, vinyl transformers and i absolutely loved these when they came to walmart they were about 4.97 a piece i got i have megatron in my kitchen i have soundwave on my desk i think my daughter had me buy her bumblebee he's somewhere <laughs> around and i thought these were really really fun i mean there's not much to say about it I mean, at least the arm, the arms and the head move. So like, what's that? Three points of articulation? Yeah. Oh, no, four, 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 four. And it's just, it's a desk piece. It's decorative um, and it's vinyl. And I love vinyl toys. I think they're great. So when these showed up and they have some paint on them, I was very happy. And I also really like the design aesthetic. So it pays homage to our G1. This is a G1 reissue. I don't have a G1 sound wave. And I am okay with that. I am not, posing to be a bigger Transformers fan than I am. I love Soundwave because of his specific chunkiness. I love the cassette tape gimmick, um, nothing else. Like it's it's so indicative of its time that like it, it, warms, it warms my insides. It warms my insides. So that's more of my attraction to Soundwave. Um, I love his slogan, like I think he's lots of fun. So that's, that's my deal with Soundwave. He's just a cool looking robot. Um, you know, again, it's never my MO to like watch one episode of something and pretend to be an expert. Like save that, save that for the insecure nerd in the room. That's not me, but I love my robots and Soundwave is one of my cherished toys amongst my collection. So this 
this guy. And it's funny because when this G1 reissue came out last year, I bought two sound waves at full price without hesitation. Didn't even didn't even occur to me not to. I was like, absolutely, absolutely. Um, that is without question. When the Optimus Prime came out, I waited till he was on clearance. And when the Astro Train came out, I said, no, <laughs> not every G1 reissue. They're not all created equally. Again, of course, as many of you know out there, this one does transform into the boom box. Uh, I know so many of you are crap talking to me. My stickers are coming off. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to glue them on or something. But he just hangs out in my shelf. These little cassettes, this Ravage. Which one is that? Laser beak. And I also have this little blind bag that Scott gave me the other day. Let's take a peek at him too. I know I'm making you wait. So this is a sound wave. Oh, that is cute. That is cute. That's that's a desk tchotchke. And I love this Keshi style for sure. Little Keshi. Awesome. Super cute. Lots of fun. Has his cannon on his shoulder. And a surprising amount of paint for its size. God, like the budget Hasbro puts into Transformers, man. Like, like you know when Mattel buys out certain toy lines just so they can like flush them down the toilet? Yeah. Transformers are just look so much better than Power Rangers, man. Just saying. Let's open this up. On the side panel here, we have extra hands, a weapon, and a cassette tape. Really nice little, <clears throat> really nice little panel. See that? Separate like partitions in the paper. And there's this whole side panel just for the weapons. Yeah. That's cool. Nice box design. Nice, very nice box design. Here's Soundwave. While coming out of the box, his cannon fell off and that was a bitch to put back on. I'll just say that real quick. This is a cool toy. Let's see what he does. So his cassette, his cassette uh, deck opens up. Can I actually put the cassette inside? Let's do that. Yeah, that's gonna stay in there forever. Like, why would you take that out? That looks so cool. That's gonna be in there forever. His hands move, arms rotate, hands move. I always joke that all the Hasbro action figures, the six inch ones are built, like I said, on the same engine. <laughs> it feels like a Hasbro toy. It is a Hasbro toy, but because of the robot limbs and because of the specific build of Soundwave, there is some varying, there are, there's some new articulation in here. Just simply because of the shape of the limbs. Oh, robot splits, hey girl. All right, so he's bending in the leg. He's bending in the foot. I like the large. I like the large size of these limbs. It makes for, for, in my opinion, easier movement and jerkier movement in a good way. Cause hi, it's a robot. There's his face. Let's get a good look at the face. This is a very simple toy. Twenty dollars. That this is gonna be the bane of my existence. Is this cannon that keeps falling off? So let's take a look again next to the chunky vinyl, just for comparison. Yeah, it's really it's funny. It's like. Like this plus this equals this. We have our orange paint at the legs, at the knee area. We have a more orange paint um, around the cassette deck instead of the typical yellow. There's just some specifics here. Um, you know, are these differences from something like a, from one of the animated series or from a pre-existing line of toys? If that's the case, I don't have that answer, and I'm okay with that. So if this is leaning into a specific sound wave aesthetic, that could be so. I'm more familiar again with G1, and that's just where my that's just where my knowledge stands, you know. And then the G1 reissue at fifty dollars doesn't have any paint apps; it's all stickers, like old school. So we have that happening too. I didn't put a cassette in this one. Oh. I'm a loser. Where's my mixtape? Now I really feel all out of love. And that's really all I have with this guy today. This is a cool toy. Um, again, I know that I think Jonathan gave it a four out of five. I would probably give it a similar, a similar rating. This is a lot of fun. I like the size of it. I like him in my hands. Um, he's gonna look excellent on my shelf. I have no issues with it. They can have a little sound wave off. 
<laughs> Soundwave Battle. There is a slim new design happening with this one that, you know, I think a lot of people expect the sound wave to be like chunkier. Like he's got a broad chest. Like this is a this is a big boy and this is a slim boy. So in that regard, you know, he's a little bit spelted down for the red line, but again, still recognizably sound wave. So yay, good toy in my opinion. He has a place on my shelf and in my life and I'm so grateful to have this. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we got today. Thank you again for hanging out with me. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Stick with our site daily for toy news, reviews, articles, listicles, snarticles, editorials, opinion pieces. Like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Toy reviews out the zippity doo -dah. And we have original comedy sketches under our Toy Lurker banner. So be good, be safe, have fun, and I will catch you soon. Bye. So it's funny how not not every G1 issue reissue, not every G uh, weapon and a cassette tape. <laughs> That's so funny. <sighs> it's like, and I love I love the toy reviewers out there who just like all they do is review. Hasbro toys, six inch toys, and they they just go on and on about the articulation, like bro, it's all the same. <laughs>